This is a demonstration video to show how to silver plate silver over copper metal. So what you're going to require for this is going to be a power supply, some deionized water, some silver nitrate, the material you intend to plate over. For this demonstration we're going to use a copper penny, a silver metal um, which we're going to use as the anode, and some cleaning solution. This cleanliness is absolutely key. Step one is to clean all the metals that are going to be in the plating solution. What we want to do is remove all grease and debris on the surface to make the surface as clean as possible for our electroplating. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some IPA, some alcohol, to help clean the surface. If you have an ultrasonic bath, I would recommend using that. Um, a tissue in a cloth seems to, seems, to be quite, seems to work quite well. Right, step two. Whilst we're waiting for our solvent or alcohol to evaporate completely from our metals, we're going to prepare the solution. So we have a solution here of deionized water from a reverse osmosis system. If I put a TDS meter in there, we can see we have a total dissolved solids of 35 ppm. Ideally this will be zero. Tap water is around 4 to 500. Uh, what we really want to avoid is things like chlorine. We don't want chloride ions to be present in the solution. So what we're going to do, we're going to add our silver nitrate. You don't need to add too much, just a little bit will do. Just a little bit of that, that will dissolve. The container that we're using is made from polypropylene. You want to use a container uh, which is going to be inert. Glass is an ideal thing. So what we have here, this is our silver metal, this is where the silver is going to come from. This is a silver coin, um, three nines pure, and we have this hooked up to our anode of our power supply, or the positive terminal. So we're going to rest that in one, one side. Okay, so we have our penny, we're going to hook this up to our cathode, our negative terminal. And what we're going to do, we now have a power supply connected to this, and I have about 8 volts connected to it, so I'm now going to put that in the bath. reaction should start and the silver metal will be transferred from the silver anode to the silver cathode. What we have here, initially two reactions are occurring. There is a displacement reaction where the copper metal is reacting directly with the silver nitrate solution, exchanging the silver nitrate by forming copper nitrate precipitating out silver. There's also the electrochemistry which is occurring where the silver metal is being transferred from the silver anode to our copper cathode, which is the reaction that we want. Okay, so it's been in the solution for about an hour now. Um, every 10 minutes or so, we've been rotating the coin around to expose a different area to the silver anode. So let's take it out and see what we've got. All right. Give it a wipe. So yep, yeah, you have one silver plated penny and uh, we'll give that a quick buff with some silver polish now um, to see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the silver polish, so we're going to apply a small amount of this to our plated coin to hopefully bring out the shine. If your plating is really thin at this stage, you may well end up rubbing it off. I'll apply some of that. And I definitely have a silver sheen to it. If you compare that to a before and after. We've definitely silver plated our coins.